In today's video, I'm getting my first pages together for my December daily. I'm going to be using a ring bound garden book for this year. So, and also be working with a napkin in this video. Stay tuned. Hi everybody, it's Julie and oh my gosh, I'm so behind. So I want to do December Daily and I want to try it out of this, um, this book. So I'm still going to do it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to be covering my, covering this with fabric. I still have to get to the Christmas fabric. Um, but the really cool thing is, is I can do the rest while, you know, <laughs> and then do this. So, um, today I want to go ahead, I'm going to pull out one of these pages. Okay, I found that my cinch, I can, um, I'll have to, excuse me, I'll have to cut twice once from one side and then from the other, but I will be able to use this. So that will be a different video where I use the cinch, which is an awesome um, hole punching machine. It's a binding machine, actually. It it does, it um, even does the wires for you and everything. So um, remember that I had chosen the Poppies and Pines from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's paper, the paper studio and it's like watercolor and I just absolutely loved it the only thing is I didn't notice there are no um, cut out cut apart cards so I'm gonna have to come up with my own which is fine okay so I have that then, um, you know, I have, uh, I just have random stuff. So this year I did pick up some stickers and so I'll be using those. We're going to go ahead and do a couple of pages and get it ready for this. So, but I wanted you to see, um, you know, the desk wasn't messy. So let's fix that. So I, um, had bought this for myself a couple years ago for, uh, my birthday, it's Daphne's Diary Stickers, and they are watercolor also, and they are, there's some holiday ones in here that are absolutely, absolutely beautiful, and then um, other, you know, there's other themes and things as well, but I'm going to go through and I will pull out, oh, look at these. Um, ones that I think will be like this, all of these, there's some holiday ones, here's anniversary, so these were like to make cards, but look at the Merry Christmas, isn't that cute, and enjoy your holiday, special dinner, so Tom's birthday is in December, so that, that will work, but I think that these will be really fun to pick up some of the other um, you know, since I don't have, oh, I love that. Since I don't have the, um, this, that's perfect. Okay. So, <laughs> cause look at, there's even a crafting one. Um, so again, this was the Daphne's diary stickers. There's the, um, the number I got mine at Barnes and Nobles. I got it a couple of years ago and you might be able to go to her daphnesdiary.com you might be able to find it there it was $12.99 okay and back then I had the you know the the savings thing where you pay money so that you can save <laughs> okay so these are some of the things that I have just pulled there's actually a calendar um, I don't think the days are right. November, yeah, the days are not right. But um, this is out of that Christmas book, 1986. Yeah. Let's 
so I pulled those out. I might use those. I have this paper pad from Heidi Swap, and I love this, and, well, I, I love the whole thing, but there was some red stripe in here that I thought I might be able to use. So, um, you know, and I am trying to use things, use up things. So I am going to be using the Santa and Mrs. Claus digital kit from Dear Julie Julie, and, um, I collect Santa's and Mrs. Claus's, so I'm ex so excited to be able to use those this year. So, um, this is what we have, and I... Okay, so it's a little bit... No, it's right about there. So, this is... Okay, that's with the branding strip okay that's with the branding strip if I turn it the other way that's not quite big enough that's okay that's that's okay and this is 12 inches basically so I can get out one of these flip out pages for with with a 12 inch piece of cardstock and so I am the way that I'm going to put this together is that I'm going to grab a you guys does anybody else do this um you know paper is a commodity it's a good commodity I don't want to use that paper I don't want to use that paper for a note okay so I do my December daily the entire month of December and then I leave a couple I also do a couple of extra pages in case we get together with our kids in January um, and I also like to do um, epiphany so I need 31 days I'm actually gonna put up my Christmas tree tomorrow Thanksgiving so I'm going to start mine, so I need the 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, plus 31. So I need a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I need 36 um, pages. And what I'm thinking is I can do a page and I've got a pretty good size. Um, I don't know if you saw that spine, but it's pretty big. It's like three and a half inches. So I'm thinking I can do one of these pages. And then, it, yes, it's going to have a white side. But I've got Christmas cards. I've got the digital kit. I've got all kinds of things to decorate that. And I think we could go ahead and have this ready. So this has 60 sheets. 20 designs so I can probably start out with one of each and um, so that will be good and um, and then what I can do is so I'll have okay so let's go ahead let's just start with this with the poppies and the bells okay and there's no branding strip on this, you guys. It is straight on 12 by 12. Because they lay their paper down, they don't hang it. So it doesn't need a hanger. They know where they're, they know where it's going in the store. Okay, so um, where's my little, my guide? There we go. So this is, we're going to call this the guide. Okay, and this is going to tell us how, how big we're going to cut it. And it's a little bit bigger than nine inches. That's like weird. Okay, I'm going to re read it again. 
it's nine and a little place. I'm going to cut them at nine inches, you guys, because I can use some of the nine by 12 paper, the art paper that I get from um, Dollar Tree. Okay. So there, I'm going to end up with several of these. Oh, I need to clean the, the dilly bobber. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and use the guide to figure out where we need to fold this. And I'm just going to go ahead, line this up to the edge, and fold it over. Now, you see what's going to happen? All my color is going to be on the inside. I'm going to mark this. Mark it. You know, and if you have existing pages, it is a good idea to take advantage of those existing pages. So this is a different type of, of book. Um, so again, this is my December daily for 2020. Um, I, I, got one set up. I saved all my stuff. I made all my ephemera and everything for last year's. You guys, last year was just too hard to um, sit down and make the, to make it. So this year I, I'm going to go in and actually make it. So um, along with, so some of the things I'll be able to do is just come in and, you know, add the card. Um, I wonder if, see the thing is, oh, pff, duh, you guys were all yelling at me, weren't you? There we go. So we have the pretty page that you see, and then we decorate the inside. What do you think about that? Okay, and then like I said, my cinch, I'm going to come in and put in the holes. And there we go. And there's still a little bit of room there that I can add a little edge or something if I want on this side. So that is what I'm going to do this year. It's, um, I don't know. I, I'm like, okay, so that will be like what I have. Um, okay. Now, when I get in there, I might go ahead and glue this down. This could be a pocket. It could be a pocket that opens up on this side. So we can do a variety of pages, but this is my template, and I'm pretty excited about where we're going to be able to go with this. So, um, you know what? Let's make our opening page. Okay, so the, the first page you see when you open it, and I usually like to pick my favorite page. I'm thinking I want Santa and Mrs. Claus on my first page. Ooh, I like that. I love that it's, ooh, I like this. How do they look with this? The, <laughs> don't lose the digital jewels. Okay. So this one we're not going to be able to do like we did. But you know what? We can do it this way. What I'm thinking is I am going... I want, I want the Merry Christmas to show up. Do I have a different cutter so that I'm... So are you doing December daily? Have you thought about it? Have you ever even heard of it? <laughs> um, 
I will, at the end of this video, I will post a link to my past December dailies. I have, um, I've done it for several, several years. And I love it. It's just, you know, for me, it, if I don't do any other documenting, it gives me a chance to show our house, our yard, um, our kids. That's what I uh, take advantage of um, and do is I go ahead and... Okay, so I, sh I, show, I show all that. Okay, so um, we're going to go, and I'm going to go. Okay, so I want, to, I want to have this Merry Christmas on here. And okay, I'm going to go ahead and fold this over. So I'm going to do this one a little different than what I did the other one. Because what I do is my first, um, my first page on the ends after this is my why. Okay, why do I, why do I do December daily? Why am I doing it this year? Why, why did I not do it? <laughs> um, that kind of thing. Okay, I've lost, there it is. I guess I could measure this and then I don't have to keep. Okay, so this is, six and a half. Okay. So I um, originally was going to use a Betty Crocker. I have a few of them, and I couldn't decide which one. So I was like, okay, that's it. We're just, we're not using that. <laughs> okay, so this will be what you see when you open the, the journal. And I'm like, can I get them on here? Looks like I can. And you know I like to um, to rip when I can rather than rather than cut with scissors because if you're not straight it seems to be more forgiving rip things if it's ripped okay so you get these images in several sizes in this kit this is part of the mini digital kit so there's that there but I think it's going to need to be um, popped up onto something so, so that it stands out a little more. Um, looking around. <laughs> looking for something that might be like red. Ooh, I have a file folder. <laughs> I have a file folder. It says clocks. I love it. Okay, file folder we will go ahead and cut. This might be interesting.
got it started. Let's go ahead and we'll glue this onto here. And I haven't gotten out the Christmas washi tape yet, but I, um, so my December daily this year, I am not making it as my, um, challenge journal. I want to be able to do what I want to do. <laughs> uh, so, plus I will be doing with Kara Brandon, the first tw 12 days of Christmas. Each day we're going to reveal, well, we, we're going to reveal our digital kits. Um, it's a 12 page digital kit and we'll be revealing those and, um, and then for the first 12 days of December, she's going to work with my digital kit and I'm going to work with her digital kit. We're calling it Trading Pages. Remember Trading Faces or Trading Places? I did Trading Faces with, um, with Mary Kay. That was, that was my best. Just have a facial with a friend. So, um, yeah, so we'll be doing trading pages. So I'll be working with her digital kit. She'll be working with my digital kit. I'm really, really excited. Okay, so I could put this up here. I don't, I want the, the Merry Christmas. Or do I want the Joy, Joy, Joy? Oh, wow. Look at that. Look the way that framed that. Do you see that? Do you see that difference? Okay, here, eh, up here, and eh, I pull it here. I absolutely love it. Am I going to be over far enough? I might need to cut down a little all the way around. And that's okay. It's like trial and error. Okay, so this is my first page. I just kind of like to get it the the tone set for what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> I forgot to cut the sides that I actually needed cut. So if you're doing December daily, did you pick a paper pad um, or are you just using random what you got? Did you pick a digital? I will be using all of my Christmas digitals, um, but this is the main. I want to make sure I get my Santa and Mrs. Claus in here. So, oh yeah, and that reminds me, the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop, <coughs> everything in the Etsy shop. All the journals, the kits, everything. The supplies that are in there that are not sold out are all 50% off. Okay? So they're all 50% off. And so do take advantage of that. Um, the, well, the 50% off a journal, that is not something I normally do. And kits, uh, that's a very special sale price that I do. So um, that includes the Mimi's vintage kits that are in there. And make sure that um, if you're interested in those, you open that up and look and see which ones are actually left. Because there's, there's several that are there. Okay, so that is, I like that. And then, you know, I have this, well, I have, I have this. And I, there's that that says, enjoy your holiday. It's kind of summery. That's okay. 
merry and bright. Look at the reindeer. A little car. Let it snow. You guys, it snowed here last year on Thanksgiving. And we're not expect we're not expecting any snow that I know of. Cute little car with a tree. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. Sorry about that. <coughs> I have these, and these. My sister collected penguins, so they're kind of, they're kind of special. I don't remember where these came from. I think, yeah, I don't remember. I'm not going to, I'm not going to guess. I like that. I want something to put 2020 on. So I'll just, um, when I'm, <laughs> you see I got quiet. <laughs> when I'm designing, I will just kind of get quiet now and move things around until I get them where I, where I like them. And I'm going to want to change out this string. I'm going to go ahead and staple this down. it down a little okay because it's basically a sequin that's hard to um, get them to to glue down Okay, so some of this in this package is um, looks like like greeting cards, and then gift tags are in here. So there's that. Okay, and so today at 2.30, Kara, Brandon, and I will be live. We will be playing with our kits and making something and, um, and showing them to you and telling you how it's going to work um, on my channel or my, in my group. I also have elves that each day we'll be sharing ideas using that day's page. 
so um, I'm pretty excited about that to have a group of other crafters that will be uh, giving giving us ideas using the digital kit um, so I will hope to see you also at 2 30 today it'll be here on my channel um, but both of us hopefully we th this is our um, it's our reveal of the kits because they're also going to go on sale so that you can go ahead and have them and have them printed um, you can be using them over the weekend they are going to go on sale at um, I think hers is 50% off also Mine will be 50% off. And also, um, yeah, so that you, <laughs> sorry guys, my brain is still catching up. <laughs> brain is still catching up. Okay, I really like that. Um, I'm going to want something on top of there. And I, thinking I want a word but I don't want happy holidays so okay okay so we'll go ahead and put some glue on here build a collage I guess huh So, and you all know I like working with a kit, meaning that I'll put together the items, the main items that I plan to use in a journal, and that includes like the paper pad, any um, papers that I've collected that are specific to that subject. Oh, look how that perfect. That was joy and joy. Of course, Santa's got a wreath in his head. Okay. So I don't know if you saw what I did there, but I, of course, left a tuck space right there that I could put a little tag in or something if I, if I wanted to add something. But there we've got 2020. This is my cover page and again I'll add those to it and then I can decorate this side so my second page is going to be a, um, a ledger okay so let's go ahead and grab the long ledger page that I have sorry okay so this is the long ledger and okay so it is going to be a little longer than what that is that's okay i could just put a regular one We'll go it's okay um, where's that okay it's it's smaller so we'll just go ahead and fold it over to the right size and then we'll have some ledger paper that we can use on the back of some tags if we want to okay so this is the first one that I'm showing you okay so I am gonna want that to be yeah we'll do it like this that 
That's how I'm going to do that. Okay. And I like to have this. I can list out, you know, what we did and write it along there. So that that's going to that's usually um, one of the first pages that I like to have in my journals is I do like to use one of these. Now, I don't need to see the staples right there. So I'm going to grab from my stickers. I'm going to grab the joy. There we go. Okay. So now I have a separate journal that I use for like my Christmas list and things like that. Um, but it, I, if I was going to do that, I would probably put another, uh, go ahead and put another one of these in as my Christmas list, I think. That would be, be fun. Gosh, some of these are so dang cute. There's several. Oh, there's like three of those wreaths. Oh, look at that. He's going to be really cute on the gift list page. Okay, so there's this. Did it? Did it? We'll go ahead and add a little more glue right here. Because it needs to actually be held down to get it to hold down. <laughs> okay. I love it. So we'll just add the holes. That'll go into the journal. That's my first page. <laughs> I have my list page. Um, I'm also going to be using stamps. I'm going to use washi this time. Um, I'm like so excited this will be now I can use this I've got this right here so I'm gonna go ahead and decorate this with the little washi okay so Let's go ahead and we have that. Let's take this and I'm going to go ahead and decorate the inside of this one with the napkin. Okay, just, just for fun. I say that, and of course, there's no napkin, right? Yes, there is. So this is the napkin I found that also, it looks like it matches this paper pad. Okay, so we're going to take off the plies. There's one. There's two ply. Wow, look at that second ply. You can, I'll be able to use that as a light, light page. I like that. Okay, so um, you can decoupage this or go ahead and paint blue on your page I am I know you're going to be shocked I'm going to go ahead I'm not going to do the dry decoupage well I am going to do the dry decoupage but because this um, paper is so random 
I'm going to go ahead and do it like this. So I want to go right up to the edge of my paper. Okay, and then swirlies and things that if they show through this paper, I think I'm going to be fine. Okay, and I'm doing one half of the page and then I'll, I'll decide if I'm going to do the other half. I think I am. I'm going to carefully pull it out. Okay, and then we'll come over and do the other half. That worked out really well. Now this one has wrinkles built into the side of this page, so let me go ahead and I love the way a napkin feels when it is attached to paper. I especially love the way it feels with glue stick, but um, I'm going to go ahead and use the regular glue here. That's one way we can use that that napkin. Now we'll go ahead and cut another paper and have another page ready. Okay, and this worked because remember I can turn this one upside down. So there, there we're ready. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Yay! Okay, we're going to put this over and let it dry. And let's pull out another page from the paper pad. And I did get this with a coupon. Okay, so we need to cut it at nine inches, unless we were to. Oh, this one we can't make a pocket, but remember, you can make a pocket. Okay, so um, this one we're not going to because 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 it's not built to be pocket page. Words would be upside down on one side or the other, either on the pocket or the... Okay. okay, so now this one is going to be... This one will be different. So this one will be like the front page, except for what I'm going to do is... I'm going to go ahead and... Fold this one all the way over. Is 
Is that over enough? Yeah, that should be good. I should have used the thing, right? Use the template. That's why you've got it. Okay. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to, I'm going to do something different here. We're going to go ahead and close this off and make it into a pocket. And I'm going to close this side off. So that's going to give us a pocket right here. I'm going to just cut the edge. Okay, so we have a pocket. And so we know we have a pocket. Go ahead and we'll cut that out. Okay, so we'll want to make a large card for in there. I have a C for Christmas. Should have. Darn. I hate when that happens. Oh well. It was after I I thought of this little thing to put in here after, but there I'll be able to put that in there. So sometimes when I do stuff like that, I'll go ahead and paper clip it together so that I know that it's that they go together. Okay. If you're here for the premiere, I'm waving. Hi. And say hello to midnight. Hi midnight. I'm so glad you joined us today. If this is your first Dear Julie Julie premiere, just know that we do this every day at 1030 Pacific Standard Time. We have a premiere, which means that we're all watching this at the same time together. And we are probably live in a chat. So you can join us by hitting that live chat button right down there. Come on over, say hello, and let us um, welcome you. We are so glad that you're here. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for making this community great. <coughs> we also have our Scrap All About It with Dear Julie Julie Facebook group where we are able to connect more. And also, don't forget, there's a free digital in that in the file section. So go check that out. Um... Just a reminder, the entire Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop is 50% off, and that is through December 3rd. Many of the items are one of a kind, and they are 
first come first serve and once they're gone they're gone so um, but also the digitals are all on, on sale for 50% off so if you wanting wanted to add to your library um, now might be a great time I did re-add the Mother's Day the Valentine's Day and the Father's Day kits back as well as Easter back into the shop so let's get back to our program so let's do one more with our napkin sorry about that that just I get all excited and this is actually kind of fun oh I like that yeah I'm gonna do that one Okay, so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and oops, fold it up. So I want a, a three inch. Let's go ahead and we'll use this as our template for this. Okay, so we'll pull this like this. And actually like this one better so okay I like I like that this is bunched up in a couple places up on this side so I want that to be this the top of the pocket so make sure I'm at the edge I'm gonna use my fingernail to make a little mark in that and then I'm gonna pull it up to the edge of my paper like this line it up and fold it out okay make sure I'm right at the edge of my paper line it up and fold it out okay and so this can go this way sure I have I'm gonna have room for my holes okay. go ahead and fold it up okay so we'll open this up we'll go ahead and we can glue down our pockets and I would you know, on other years, I might have gone ahead and put little gussets in the, some of these pockets because they might hold more stuff. But, um, you know, it's like many of our things I, are not going to happen this year. You know, it's like our... Um, our family uh, thing that was planned for December 3rd is is not happening so okay so what I'm thinking is that I can go ahead and rip around this So what kind of things do you like to see for a journal? Do you like tags? Do you like pockets? Do you like just the raw postcards and ephemera so that you can make your own things? Um, do you like the tag that's already uh, put together for you? I'm curious. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to dry decoupage. So I'm going to go around the outside of my napkin here to start with. Okay. 
I call this dry decoupage because most of the napkin will be dry. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and go out the stems. And then I'll go out like this, the little fronds or needles. And then I might even do some of the berries. And that will help hold it down, but it'll look like Where the glue, if the glue were to show through, it will just look like part of the painting of the image. Okay. There, so using pieces of the napkin, we can get a great, a great look. And it being up on the top here and we're on a pocket where we're going to be able to do a large tag or you know, something, it's going to be, a, we can put something pretty good size here. Okay. And then we'll be able to come in and add a word. I don't know what I did with the sheet of stickers that I started using. I don't want to start a new sheet of the Christmas stickers because I have already started one so I've got to find it before but I'm thinking one of those um, those words stickers right here I'll show you the, the one I'm talking about it's from this and I'll put something right here probably so. but you know we already started using one I just don't want to Okay, so another thing that I will do is I will go through and I will add the glitter because I love the glitter look. I love sparkle. Look, again, this is the number 544 from Dollar Tree. Um, I like it because it has a smaller glitter. There's a there's one that's in the 900s that um, has a bigger glitter. I'm sure it would work, but um, I, I really like the small. And that, yet this is not super fine. It is definitely glitter. Not like a Prisma glitter or something. <laughs> there we go. So I love that. And... So I have a pocket page ready. I have this type of a pocket page ready with a card. Okay. Okay, so that has the card that will go in it. And I have this page ready. So I that's three of my 36 plus the cover page and the list page because these are separate. I'm considering these separate. So uh, that gives me a little bit of a start. I feel better already. Um, I'm thinking, you know, to come in and to add these beautiful, beautiful tags and things. Look at that. And I think I will just go ahead and put that on there. And then again, um, something that has the words on it would be really cool with this I think but I think if I put this in as a tuck 
I think I will like that on this page. And there was a Santa, a standing Santa. I saw him. Oh, he's so little, though. I was going to say, he could go in there. Oh, my gosh. Look at him. See, now he would be cute, like on a pocket or also up on top or really cute as on a tag. Oh, my gosh. We're going to have so much fun. So much fun. So, again, are you doing December daily? Do you do... Oh, let's put it on this page. Now nah, we'll put it on this page. Okay, I don't know where my glue went. <laughs> At the messy desk, and we lost the glue. How did that happen? You all probably know where it's at. Well, another thing you can do, if you can't find the glue, there's always double-sided tape. I'm still looking, like, where did the glue go? Okay, so, and you can go ahead and have some of these already ready. If you think you know what you want it to be. Okay, I'm also going to cut this little piece <laughs> in a minute. So, does everybody get a holiday for Thanksgiving? Tom is off for the four days. Yay. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this on. So I want to remind you, the Dear Julie Julie Etsy shop is on sale for 50% off everything in the Etsy shop. The journals that are in there, there's journal kits. The, there's a couple of grab bags that are almost a full, the regular, like the Trey Jolie, it's just missing a couple of the Trey Jolie pieces, but it's a grab bag. And um, it's a really nice kit. The fairies and flutters, there's a, a kit in there um, for that. There's several Christmas kits, including Jesus is the Reason for the Season. These are full kits. Some of them have the stuff to make the cover, um, meaning the fabric. And, um, yeah, so do check that out. Um, oh, look what I did. I guess I'm going to have glitter on this side and on that. It's a good thing this is for me, huh? Messy crafter. <laughs> okay. So we got our, oh, our sled. That's what we were doing. We put our sled on. And now that can be a pocket. Okay, or if I, you know, if I have a picture of Tom and I or something, I can put that here. Um, or the kids, you know, depending on, because like when the kids send their um, their Christmas pictures, the the ones that they take to put on their Christmas cards or whatever, then I I usually will put them in the the journal. That's how I kind of keep. I have everybody in the. Um, 
that's in the Christmas journal. Okay, so I'm really excited about this. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. It's something totally different to be able to do this um, and to add the pages in. Now that's how I used to do uh, my December dailies are, are were ring bound. And so I could add and take things out. I do have a couple or yeah, I have a couple that are cinch bound. And um, so I will put the December daily playlist right up here. You guys, there are a whole lot of whole whole lot of ideas there. Um, and they're my actual December dailies where you'll see how I documented, um, you know, how I put the pictures in, how I wrote. And um, so you can check that out. It's a really, I mean, it'd be, be a great binge watch. And then also I will put a, using napkins video up here. YouTube's going to put a video here that they think you're going to want to watch. And so I just want to tell you that I am so grateful for you and blessed. I have been so blessed by this community. So thank you so much. Happy Thanksgiving. I hope we see you today at 2.30 Pacific Standard Time. Me and Kara side by side crafting away and showing you those digitals that we'll be working with day December 1st through the 12th. Be doing the 12 days of December digitals. So come back 2.30. Have a nice day and I'll see you at 2.30. Bye. Bye-bye.